channel I am Miss Golden Logs and today I am following a video that quite a few other beauty youtubers have done um, it looked like a lot of fun so I thought I'd try it the same and it is following a makeup tutorial from a makeup guru slash youtuber um, and following what they do the steps they take and recreating the look so um, I've already done one already which isn't out yet which I followed Anarchy's one she's just amazing I love her channel I love her videos and everything she's a fellow black girl that loves anime as well so I recreated that one and then the one I'm going to do today is House of Sienna I really love the looks that she does I really love her Instagram page and she's just so bold and outgoing with the looks that she does I was thinking of doing like big ones like everyone else like um Manny MUA, Jackie Iona, Thomas Halbert, and stuff like that. But I wanted to do YouTubers, smaller YouTubers that inspire me, you know, that are daring, do things different, you know, don't care to fit into those constraints of, you know, your typical beauty gurus, anything like that from all different types of walks of life and, you know, use makeup and things like that to the way that they wanted to, not fitting to others, which I thought was really cool. So she's known for doing a lot of cut creases which I don't do a lot of big or bold looks on my eyes because we don't have a lot of eye but um, she's got one which is a simple neutral cut crease makeup tutorial so I thought I would try it um, I had a look at the video just to see because of um, to see what eyeshadow palette she uses um, I don't actually have the eyeshadow palette she uses which is the Profusion Cosmetic Naturals 24 shade eyeshadow palette but I do have one which has similar colours so um, let's go ahead and do it now there is no talking in her video she just sort of shows you what she does and puts makeup to it so yeah let's see from there okay so we're getting into this okay so the start she's already got her eyes primed and eyebrows done so thankfully i don't do my eyebrows so that's already done so let's prime the lids so yay, this is yet another one where the eyelids are first, yay. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. So let's go ahead and prime the lids. Okay, she's primed all the way up to her eyebrow. So yeah, as I said, big bold look. So I have a feeling we're gonna be taking the eyeshadow the whole way, so yeah. She's done it, yeah, pretty much the eye, the whole way out, actually. She's gone quite far out, so let's prime the lid. Well, let's conceal the lid, should I say. I don't actually do a lot with my eyes, so I don't actually have any eye primer or anything like that. So, let's go in with this. She's gone quite far out with it, so let's drag it out a bit. Okay, I don't know if this is too much, too little or what, but we'll uh, figure it out along the way. Oh, and I got some in my eyebrow. Okay, we'll fix that. I'm just blending that out. as we prime the lid. I also like her channel as well because she is a fellow UK um, YouTuber as well so I think that's quite cool. I don't really know a lot of UK YouTubers. I do follow her. I follow um, the Plastic Boy as well so yeah I think it's quite cool that she hasn't moved like as I think I was watching Thomas Howard's video and a lot of people if they're in America and they're YouTubers they all move to LA and stuff like that but there are a few that you know stay where they are and do it I know Nikki Tutorials isn't actually in America as well because I remember she was on James Charles channel and he's like so are you thinking of moving over here or what and she was like no all my family's back home I'm not moving <laughs> to LA you know I think she probably visits America quite a bit but she's not uprooting her whole life to LA which I thought was quite cool okay so we are all concealed now so let's see what she does for the next step okay. 
Okay. I think we're just priming in early, so that's fine. I can prime. That is fine by me. I put it on the back of my hand first. That probably wastes product because some of it gets left on the back of the hand. But I wouldn't want to squeeze straight onto my face. I'm not that confident in my pumps. Oh my! I was gonna say talent. All my skill, should I say? So yeah, we gotta work this in. Okay, so we worked in our primer. We cleaned up the little bit of concealer we had in our eyebrow. And let's see what she does next. Okay, so she's taking the first colour, which is a... I would like to say a pale orange creamy colour. So, let's see if we can find a pale colour that's similar. Okay, she starts off very high. Okay, so she starts off pretty much like out here and then goes up the whole way around. So we'll try starting out here and just going in with this colour all pretty much above. Hey guys, sorry about that. My camera died yet. Again, I have not one, but two batteries for my camera, and unfortunately it has gone and died on me again. So I do apologise. So continuing on from where we had left off, um, I was just blending out the first colour that she picked, which was a peachy, orangey colour, um, to blend out above my eye from there. So we will continue doing that, even after that minor setback. Okay, so I'm just going to take that same colour, this pale sort of peachy, orangey colour, and just blend that just above and under my crease there, actually. I'm just dragging that all around. Okay, and I'm just going to do the other side quickly because she's already onto her second colour. Okay, so we're just going to bring this up and around. And up and around. I hope I'm copying this right because Lord knows this is way outside of my comfort zone. Okay, now she's taken more of a brown colour, I believe that is. Oh no, it's not that deep. More of an orange colour and just going into the crease and defining it. So with a more pointed brush. So I'm going to do the same with a more pointed brush and just take that and just blend that in. So I'm taking the orange colour again and just blending that in. I'm just sort of tucking that more into my crease. Just tucking it in. Okay, let's see. Yeah, okay, I was doing that right. Oh crap. Okay. 
Okay, now she's taken a bigger brush and just sort of gone over with a darker colour, more of a brown colour. Oh gosh, this is so quick. We're only at a minute 33 in and already we're like... Okay, we're just going to rewatch from the beginning. We're just... Oh gosh. Right. Yep, so she went in with the orange. Yep, okay, we got to that stage. Yep, okay, that, that, the, the stages look different. Okay, we're just going to go in with this more brown colour and just blend this in with the other colours. Okay, I don't know how she got to that stage. It looks like we've missed some, some blending steps. I don't know. Okay, I'm just going to go in with this brown. And then I think what it looks like is that she's gone in with like a brown colour and then put some more of the orange sort of peachy colour on top. So I'm just going to go in more of the crease with the brown and then try and put some orange on top to blend the colours together. So we've added the brown on both sides. So I'm just going to try and add the orange which I'm going to go over the top with with the smaller pointed more precision oh. okay I think just a bit more of what she has I have no idea I thought that my colours were pretty similar but yeah, all of a sudden she was blended and full of colour. Okay, let's just keep going in. I'm trying to recreate this. I mean, this is actually coming up pretty nice. We've got a nice blend of colours. So hopefully, even if we are a bit skew if off with the colours that she's got, we're pretty close. I'm just trying to feel like doing that brown to blend it back in a bit. There we go. Although I don't think I've dragged this out far enough. It looks like she's got it going pretty wide out, so we'll do is we'll bring this out a bit. And then we'll do the same on the other. Oh actually the other eyes are Okay, so we've dragged that out. I'm going to go back in with the orange again. Oh gosh. Okay. Simple cut crease, it said. There is nothing simple about this. Although I'm not sure the orange is really picking up too strong either. Like, it's just blending in with the brown. It's not quite... Which is a good thing, don't get me wrong, but it's not quite standing out as an orange if that makes sense okay we've got a lot of fallout here let's just try and brush that off and brush that off okay i think we're there um let's see if i've got another orange just to give it a bit more pop i don't know how orange it is though i don't think it's that orange okay uh, no i don't okay, we'll just see how this goes Okay, now she's taking a concealer one. Oh boy. Okay, she's using two hands. I need to use two hands. We'll, we'll just sort of try, try to angle it so you can still see. Okay, I think we've almost carved it out. So uh, let's see what she does next. Yeah, so she carves out her whole eyelid and then covers. Okay, let's cover as well. Okay, just 
Ich noch da gut hier. Okay, I think that's pretty much covered. Ooh, okay. All right, she's oh, she's holding her whole eye and dragging it out. Okay. So she's got her whole eye and she's just pulled it out a little bit. So we'll do the same. So I do from here. Okay, I may have to not me. I probably am definitely gonna have to clean this up a bit. Okay, let's see how it looks. She's going this way. A pale white, and she's just gone in with that on the on top. I don't know if I have a white eyeshadow. Um, okay, so I have one in my Morphe palette, so I'm just gonna. I think she just packs it on the top, so that's what we will do with this. So we'll get a flathead brush and just pack this pale color on top. I just realised I've got to do this all over again on the other eyelid. <sighs> Try something new, she said. Do a simple cut crease, she said. It'll be fun. No, not at all. Okay, so we're packing this on the lid. I'm going to have to do so much washing of my brushes once I finish. <laughs> okay that is all done brush off any excess okay let's see what the next step is okay she's still packing it on how is her so carved okay so time skip and the other eye was done. So I'm just gonna quickly do the other eye off camera and then yes, we'll... Okay, so we've gone and got both of the eyes matching-ish. Yes, so let's see what the rest of the video is about. Whew, I hope there's no more steps to this because honestly, I cannot do any more. All right, let's have a look. Oh, it looks like a pearl color that she did on the lid. Okay, well, we went in with white. Okay, so it's just eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. Okay, so I'll quickly do that now. I've got my Kat Von D Lucky eyeliner. So we'll do that. And I think she goes, yep, okay, the wing goes really far out. I'm going for like a really far, really bold wing. I'm not happy with this at all. Okay, let me clean. Okay, so one came out really good and we screwed up on the other one. So we've got to go in and start again, clean this up and then we will be right back. Okay, so we've got both of the wings done just about. This took like three attempts. This one was fine. So we'll see what the next steps are. Okay, we're going in with foundation. That's fine. That step I can do. <laughs> Oh gosh, this cut crease has honestly let me know I'm not good at this at all, like at all. So we'll go in oh, with our foundation. 
and it also made me realize as well why people definitely do eyes first and then foundation because my gosh I wonder what's going on outside. There's a lot of... It sounds like police and ambulance. Oh gosh, and it's snowing again. Yay! Which is why I'm glad I have spent this day doing much. I hope there isn't a big accident though, with all this snow. Which has caused what sounds like a fire engine and a police car as well. Oh gosh, and more! Okay, we're just gonna build this in. And again, apologise that I have had to change camera. As I said, my um, cam both my camera batteries died and you can't film while charging. So I have had to switch over to my phone, unfortunately. But yeah, so we've gone and packed in our foundation. The Maybelline Fit Me, honestly one of my favourites. While it's on sale, I might get two more to be fair. Okay, so we've packed everything. Okay, let's see what's next. Nope, still using foundation. Okay, now we're highlighting, going in with my trusty. She dots hers rather than going. I didn't realise that. I never tried. Okay. So. She uses the back of a brush as well to dot it. Okay. We try and dot our areas. No. Okay, we dot up the nose. Or as best we can dot, should I say. Oh, and contour. Well, I'm not contouring today because the eyes took everything out of me. So, yeah, we're not contouring. But she's dotting around the contour as well. Never seen anyone do that. That's a different technique. I wish I'd uh, seen it before. And we've kind of dotted though. We've tried and improvised. Oh, now we're blending it out. Okay. to watch today. Passed it all in. Sorry if I'm looking to the side, it's like right in the mirror for this look. There's not quite enough space to have the mirror like directly in front of me. But we'll try. There we go. Okay. 
I think we're pretty blended. So, take a look with just the lateral lighting in the room from the light and then with the added lighting in here. Okay, now she's dusting to set with. Using a fluffy brush, I like to use my damp paint blender. Dab off any excess. Lightly dust. Ever so lightly. Use a brush as well. Just... Okay, now we're going all over. So I'll use my Mac and just go all over. Okay, now she's going in with that contour. I'm not contouring today. So we shall miss that step. Okay, oh, she's going with a glossy red lip. I don't know if I have a red gloss. I don't think I do. The only red that I do have though is my Fenty Beauty red. So we will go in with this red. Um, yep, I think. Yes, we're going with the red. I haven't used this before, so let's see. Oh, it's so pretty, and look at the wand. Okay. And when they see lip paint, they were not kidding. This is just one. I haven't even, I dipped, stroked off the excess and I'm still going with the same, the same amount of product from just one. This is definitely a paint. Oh, wow. Okay, what's the next step? Okay, we're going in with blush. I've got my MAC blush here, let me get my brush. Okay, it's going in with the blush. Okay, and highlight. Now she had more of a, a golden brown highlight. I don't really have that colour. Okay, I have this one from e.l.f. So we will go in with this one. This one is more of a pinky orange colour. Once I can get the, once I can get it open, oh my gosh. There we go. Yeah, so this is quite orange. So yes, we shall go in with this. She's going in with the thicker fan brush. I'll go in with the thin one today. And yes, I shall. Oh, no dance. Hey, hey. Oh damn, okay, and new wig. Okay, I think that is the finished look then. We don't have no new wig to do. Let's just uh, let the hair down a bit. 
suss it up and I think this is the final look so what I'll do is I'll take a picture to put it against her one and my one and then yes I think that is it so I have tried following a house of sienna tutorial um I'm not the best but I don't think this look came out too bad if we have a close-up here I think this look came out pretty good I am loving this red oh my gosh my fellow Bajan my fellow Bajan you came through came through okay hmm but yes I think that is it for the video I have had fun doing this it's definitely tested what lack of skill I have when it comes to makeup but I've had fun doing this there's another one coming as well that I followed Anarchy's one as well and thank you for watching and we've got some other videos coming soon